This is that the Yomish Shvi's in the article of his other edition. We are Daf Pei Vav Mudalaf. I believe right at the top. Uh, the uh, in the article there's a header. In close between Plusbul El Al Karka. And the uh, let's see the Dolma there's a header. Oh, it doesn't look like it. It's hard to find. <laughs> it's um, opposite where it says Halacha Zayin in the name Moshe. So in that Gemara, if you go opposite the Gemara and go uh, uh, let's put four lines up. Rav Amar. Again, no header. Rather not. We shall carry it. Okay, so the, um, we said that in the, uh, in the Mishnah, we said, ain't causing plusable on a carca. You can't, you know, you can't write plusable on, unless land is involved. In my safe on Balabasa, because you have Balabasa, I spoke about um, why Hefker, that uh, it's uh, the Ashita also, that you need a base in Choshev to do uh, plusable, and uh, how it's Hefker, the Hefker base in Hefker can work. With it, specifically with karka, the he's in the karka and the hefker base and hefker works in order to make the principle effective. Um, but here we have a discussion as to who exactly has to have the land in order to be, in order to be effective. Um, so Mara says, Rava Marbushi elo karka la malve la love. You both have to have it. So the the um, Kabbalaki explains the malve has to have land in order she should be able to mezak it the from within his field, if the love happens to sell his land between the right of the principal and the end of the Shemitah year. The love has to have um, land in order that it should be as if it's collected by basin, which is again part of the Hefker basin, Hefker aspect. It has to be as if it's collected by basin already, therefore he has to have land. As we have, of course, the Paskin. The Leva, Leva has, you know, either one has it, that's fine, that's enough. They'll, they'll both have to have land. He has one stalk. We already, but that's enough in order to make, make, write a principle. That's considered the stalk, even though he doesn't own the Marafulda. But the Kabbalah says, even though he doesn't own actual land, just the stalk. It's a king Paris. But nevertheless, it's enough for right of principle because if he has a uh, he's in the karka. The, the, uh, so the Gemara says, uh, the uh, Hatani, didn't we learn uh, the Ashuvi uh, Maris in El Puzbul, a partner and, uh, and a sharecropper of El Puzbul, the partner will own at least half of the land. So the army, they said, Tama Kol Kavakal Shutvu Shutvusu. There, each and every stalk is has a shutvus in it, so he's not a, you, the unique and uh, solitary bilingual over any one of them. So, therefore, the uh, interesting way that Rabbi Kavanaki puts it, um, therefore, it's hard to collect. Kind of a bathish as far, and it's not considered as if it's collected already, because you can't collect it unless you get the shutvus permission. So, it can't be considered to be uh, uh, collected in the hands of based in. Um, I don't know if that's the only reason we're giving. I'm sure we're going to give other reasons, but uh, that's he's saying uh, that um, the, since each and every kind of that's no good. But as long as he has complete ownership in every in his, that kelach, that's sufficient. Okay, I, I guess something wrong with what the Kabbalah is saying it has to be the pshat that it's um, peds upon the uh, possession by based in, even the symbolic possession, possession. Okay, so we the mission say you can write for Yusoyim on the Nixay Apotropos. What about vice versa? Shmina Meyada, it's in here. Kaisen Isha Nixay Ishto. You can learn write for a, uh, a husband on the property of his wife. Okay, that's nice. But um says, uh, uh, and that seems to be um, an Apotropos as well. Uh, uh, Isha. What about vice versa? A woman on her um, husband's property. Now, 
Uh, her husband has wife's property can be considered being like her troubles. Because he usually is the one that does business with it. But what about the wife on her husband's property? Yes. If you do it for the assignment on uh, the Nixay Apotropin, so, so to which is similar to the Isha Apollo, so therefore the woman can, well, the wife can write on the uh, on the basis of her husband's property. Okay, now we're back up to the next mission. We're going to talk about Kaveras, um, Advorim, uh, a beaten next part of the mission. We're going to talk about Kaveras, Advorim being like Karka. Rabbi Yavav Hashem Shem Lakish is Lakish. Time with Rabbi Elazar who says it's like Karka. Yerxiv, that says when Yoyna's son was uh, uh, needed something to uh, eat, he was famished from the battle. So the 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 Navi was telling us that they came to a uh, forest. They the came first to the forest. The Navi tells us that they came to a forest. The Navi came first to the forest. And uh, the show made them take an oath not to eat anything. And then the Yonah's son came afterwards and did eat. So in any event, it says, There was, came to the, to the um, fl- florist and was flowing with honey. Amar Mother said, What do you uh, 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 learn from here? Chursha mapi glash. The the forest is uh, uh, produces honey, so the probably has it slightly differently. It says that uh, the um, just like the yar is mechubel the karka, the the kaveris is mechubel karka, but uh, this is um, it's actually like it says it says the forest which is mechubel karka produces the honey. So uh, Umar says no. Uh, I'm not sure who's speaking here. Uh, Ilu Amar, maybe it's the right mother speaking. He's saying, he's asking a question, this, this understanding. Ilu Amar, Vitposa, Biya, Yasa Bash Yaus. If you the Darshan, the, if you had Darshan, I guess the right mother is speaking about, the right mother say about Rabbi Shimon Lakish. He's saying that, you know, that's not, it's okay, Joshua, but it would have been a better Joshua than the next person. It says, Vitposa, Biya, Yaros Dvash. And actually, the Bavli, Bavli brings down the second Joshua, not the first Joshua. So, and the, and the second Joshua actually is in line with the Bible. So I spoke too soon. I'm sorry. So the, the, the first Joshua is not in the Bible. The second Joshua is in the Bible. But he posted by Arizvash. He did, the Yonasan dipped the staff into the forest of honey. Which means much that honey, it grows in a forest. It's a little bit of karka. Shama Yasa came. He heard from Shemim Lakish that Shemim Lakish talked to Dash in that Pasuk. Not the previous, not the other Pasuk. Okay. What are you talking about with this hive? If it's connected to the ground, anybody can see it's like the ground. It's still having saves the sign stilts with pegs. It's not anybody can see it's like the ground. Okay, now this is what we're talking about. It's not on stilts, it's but it's not the uh, constructed into the ground, it's lying on the ground. Just like we said before, you can write on a stalk of grain, even though you don't own the karka underneath it. You can write on the place of an uh, oven, on the place of uh, the smaller oven. And in the place of a candle, you can write. So uh, the uh, so similarly, the question is the kaveris. You know, it's not mechul the karka. Can you write on the basis of the land which is underneath it? I guess it's on stilts. Land underneath it doesn't count because there's a, there's a, a, there's access to whoever actually owns the land underneath it by going to, to, uh, through the stilts. But if it's not on stilts, then that's going to be a question whether it's similar to um, whether it's similar to uh, uh, the um, it's similar to uh, uh, to uh, the c- case of the stalk, and it is sufficiently his uh, his land. Um, the uh, Kamaraki puts in that um, since the Derek has to leave them for a long time, so therefore um, they uh, consider it to be uh, uh, as if you have a right to the, to the ground. Um, he also says another thing. He says, because it's similar to they're made of cheris, and pottery is done to, land, to earth. It's an interesting idea. And based on it, he says, Makomash in there means not necessarily a candle which is sitting on the ground. A candle sitting anywhere. It's, it's a candle made out of cheris, an oil candle. And therefore, it's considered to be like karka. 
that's karka, and that would be valid, sufficiently valid in which to breed a pusbul. Okay, at the pass came. Okay, what about the uh, um, taking a piece of bread out of the oven on Shabbos? Uh, uh, if it's in the is uh, 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 or not? No. The honey grows in the um, in the hive, right? So it's it's intrinsically connected to the hive, whereas the pas enoki gidule tanur, the the um, uh, the the uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the bread is not. And intrinsically grown in the oven. Um, is there a thing here? Is the way he explains it to us. Komar masay balechaim he masay Hashem. Kigidule karka mashekim masay bnei adam. This is the thing which is produced by the animals. It's like it's produced by Hashem intrinsically, whereas something which is man-made is not intrinsically connected to the land. That's an interesting idea. I don't know if you come on to it. Okay, so next one we should talk about getting back alone during Shmita, and uh, even though um, I don't have to. And Gemara says, Omer le the the um, the the Malva say, I am Mishamid. Ravuna Mar besofa Rava, we need a minimum to the Kabbalah. You can say softly, Ram, pulling his right hand at the same time in order to say, Kimi. So um, even though he is going to cause the borrower to pay back, that's okay. So the uh, uh, he can bring him around to that statement, and uh, of course the low boys has the right to um, to not pay, but the mavis right to make him feel guilty. Uh, so too we had the case with the rotzeh who went to Golos. I know those headers are actually in the bill now. Doesn't matter. They might not. I get to the rotzeh shogola. I'm Rabbi Asi Adam. Rabbi Nasha Tani Chada Mikla. The teacher said, somebody who learned one, you have to always be honest about yourself. The person who learned one is also in the Bavli. Um, I don't think it's not in this context, my uncle. But the Nashtatai Chayim Mechlots, the person who learned one is Echta, who was in Lassar, and they go to the town, and they can say, Kobe Sigs on two Mechlots, to the main Malon, he has to tell them, I only know one, one Mechlots. Let's be honest. So I was when I was a bacher in the mirror in New York. A bacher from the high school came over to me. I was in the basement. Said, so "Is it true what they say about you?" I said, "Well, what do they say about me?" They say you finish all shots except for one page, so you couldn't say you finished. So I said, first of all, that's not my style. If I was a one page way of finishing, I would finish it and let people know that I finished." But so I said, "That's not true. <laughs> Nowhere near finishing shots at that time." Anyway, so the. Um, so you have to, you can't leave false impressions. Okay, says next next Mishnah. Maxim Chobishmi is somebody who does get back alone after Shemitah, despite the fact that he's not required to do so. We're pleased with him. It's a proper ethical thing. Have a life in a ger, she's got a bonavimo, somebody borrows money from a ger whose children were a megara with him. So his children are not his halakha children, his biological chicken children. Don't get back to his sons. So I will not be happy about that because uh, the uh, actually that's not true. Sorry, he gives it back. Then that uh, that uh, the um, uh, that that uh, that the that the Rosh explains because it'll be the rice uh, a guy inherits his father. If people see that by gerus they lose their inheritance, they might go back to the original state. So therefore, that they give give the gerus children uh, the they repay them the loan. Uh, all metallically are acquired by pulling them. And uh, the uh, this story about if the um, I'm sorry, sorry, anybody fulfills his word, they are pleased with him. So it means even he didn't get the the Kenya didn't get through go through. Uh, the they agreed to the Mecca, There was no Mashicha. And uh, presumably, even not even most yet. So it wouldn't be in Mishapara. So, but it, it, uh, so even though Minadin, you can neg if you follow through Rachamin Noche Menu. As they learn, Eifat Tzedek Vin Tzedek. Shea Hen Shilchat Tzedek. And when you say something, you should keep it as correct. 
If you do, uh, if you pull dry pull out of it, you're called a mechuser amana. If after you gave the money, of course, you, uh, after buying the money, the seller the seller pulls out, then of course there's a mishapara involved as well. And that brings us to the end of pay bob and pay zayin, which is the last lot in the sefer shmias. We'll do separately, obviously.